Good evening. I see if I'm not live and I'm screwing up. Good evening, Team Beast. And for those of you who joined us for the very first time, thank you for clicking on Beast Capacity Outdoors. I'm your leader, Team Beast, Daddy Beast. And this is Got Some New Toys, and I'm going to talk about some head to head matches I did. Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you for your I was on earlier, and for whatever reason, the internet and the YouTube is just being very wonky tonight. I was doing a live feed, kept cutting in and out, in and out, and out. I'm sorry about that, so I decided to say, <laughs> what that? And do a regular video, and do it that way. It was going to be short and sweet, it was getting too long, so just cut it out. Anyhow, this should be not too long, not too long, not too long. And again, I've said that before. So, what I've got here in my hand is my old stabilizer. Some of the new toys I got tonight, or new equipment tonight. Because today we went down, Friday, we went down to the archery range over at High Tech, which is at 1912 West Commonwealth Avenue in the city of Fullerton, California. Uh, if you can't stop by their shop and all that, hit them up online at htarchery.com. And no, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Nothing, nothing I'm saying here names I'm talking about, am I getting sponsored or compensated for, it's just my opinion and product and all that, what I'm using. What I'm holding here is my original back bar that I bought when I first bought the bar, which is a PS, 2006 PSE Nova. Um, some of the stuff I have on it, for those you don't know, it's got the 29 inch draw cams, uh, it's 40 pound draw uh, weight. I have a Kuka Outdoors drop away rest. It's cable driven. I have a Cartel Alcon target sight with a Cartel 4x scope or optic. I have limb saver vibration dampers on the top and bottom limbs. I, <clears throat> I used to have Cartel Dynamic stabilizers, both front and back, and I changed those out. I now run Fivix front and back bars with Fivix weights and all that, a Fivix offset and a Fivix 10 degree down. So, going into the new stuff I got. This is what I had currently, tonight, when I was at the archery range, or today at the archery range. As you can tell, very wobbly. This, this right here is built into it. You can unscrew it, but the weight system, you can't, it's really deep in there and it's in the butt and it's aluminum and so I mean it's stiff but these this fall you know fall apart eventually I have nine point something ounces of weight on it at one point and it was starting to get really wobbly and yeah so went up and this let's see this is the 10 inch bar so tonight, while we were at the range, one of the first things we got was the Fivix Croson Zenia uh, Carbon Back Bar. This is 10 inch. Uh, this is this is a Fivix made uh, back bar. The Croson is their not their low end, but their, it's their econ it's not their economic end. It's just the lower end. Uh, Price, uh, uh, a sub brand of the Fivix. It's just as good. It's very stiff. It's light, uh, but it's very stiff. It's uh, got very little vibration in it. It comes with a one ounce cap and doinker. Well, Fivix doinker style doinker. Um, and then uh, this is the weights I've had on there. But I could take this part, the doinker itself, and unscrew it from the back bar. Add the weights. The weights are on there solid. They're not going to wobble anywhere. And then I put the, the, the doinker vibration dampener on it and then just put the cap back on. So that was a new piece I got. And then the second piece I got tonight was 
Not this, this is my Fivix Phoenix 1500D uh, front carbon bar stabilizer. Comes with a Fivix style uh, doinker and it comes with like four ounces of weight. I've got eight ounces on the front, or no, four ounces on the front and no, eight, I'm sorry, eight ounces on the front, nine ounces on the back. Uh, I'm going to be changing a little bit of that. I need to add, take a little bit more off of this now. I'm going to run that. And the reason why is, but as you can see, my bow is sitting level. There we go. My bow is sitting level, and my front bar is now at a down angle. The front of my stabilized bar is now even with the uh, tension nut on my riser, on the bottom of my riser at the limb. <clears throat> what this does, and boy did it prove it tonight, it's also a quick detach. So just unscrew it a little bit, it comes out much easier than having to sit there, twist it for 10 minutes. Um, one of the nice things about this, and it proved itself tonight, and the concept of her, you know, of what it does, is when I would hold my bow to to draw, the front of it would wiggle back and forth as I as I came into my set and my anchor, and it'd sit there and wiggle for a bit, and it flowed a little bit back and forth as I'm aiming with the. 10 degree down, well, there's two types that I've seen. There's eight degree and 10 degree. This just happens to be the 10 degree because that's what they have over there. It cost me, uh, it costs 15 bucks. Comes with a short and a long screw to fit into uh, the riser. Um, when I drew back after attaching the, the 10 degree down, uh, I quickly disconnect our QD. When I attached, after I had attached the, the Fivix 10 degree uh, QD uh, adapter, the bow settled down a lot faster. So instead of it doing this for, you know, 10, 15 seconds, <laughs> it basically after I came into draw into the valley, after it cammed over, it would wiggle and then just kind of stop. My, I noticed right away that my sight settled down quite a bit. So instead of my sight kind of floating like it normally does for me, you know, just, you know, because I'm still tuning a lot of it weight wise to get things settled down. But instead of kind of wobbling on me, it kind of wobbled just after breaking into the valley, into the back wall, and just kind of wiggled and then settled down and my sight didn't wobble as radically. It stabilized a lot better because the weight, and it's a little bit heavier too, I noticed. Um, it added a little bit of weight to the front end of the bow. It was kind of interesting. Uh, why, who knows? I didn't change any weight out of here, just the, down, maybe because this is out just a hair further now. Um, Instead of being back, it's out. Let's see. Yeah, it's one more inch extended up from where it was originally. So that could be the reason why it feels a little bit heavier uh, in the front now. But uh, part of the reason why it settles down quicker is because the center of gravity is now a little bit lower um, on the bow. So that's that. That's the new toys I got. It's, it's very lovely. I love it. Now to tell you a little bit about my experience, because I did shoot it while there, um, as it also states in the in the descript or title and description. Um, I shot head-to-head -head archery against people who are not even in my state, not even in my city, not even in my country, and that's is easy. you go on your iPhone or your Android, I believe it goes for both. You go to head to head, uh, go to your Google Ads, or not Google Ads, I'm sorry. Go to your Google Play Store, 
and you can look up head-to-head -head archery. And what it does is it allows you to shoot fun competitions against other people across the world in archery. Now, there is one downside that I, I don't like about it. It's an excellent app. It's a wonderful app. It has some glitches sometimes depending. Photos will cause it to bugger up a bit. Uh, sometimes it works just fine. But all in all, it's an excellent app. Uh, I've now worked with it three times, and that's today. <laughs> but um, you get you once you download the app and you create an account, you get a nickname, and that's what you get are found by by other archers. What's nice about this is you can compete against Rio Wild. You can compete against Mike Slosher and, and all them guys, Brayden Galantin. You know, you can compete against them. And that, and, well, if they have the app and they, you know, are active on it. Now, which, but you can go in and search for a specific archer, a pro archer. And I chose Rio Wild. And you just look him up and it brings up the, his matches, or not his matches, but you look for matches. And I looked up Real Wild's matches for 2016. It brought up all the matches he shot in. And at that point, I could choose to shoot against him. And, you know, so I click on it, yes, and go ahead and go shoot against him and match uh, what he was doing meter wise, uh, or yardage wise, or meter wise outdoor, size of the target face, distance it was at, and how many ends, how many arrows. And then you just, you know, copy and say, hey, you won or get lost. So, uh, I did three today. I was challenged by Primal, Primal Outdoors, uh, one of the guys on YouTube. So check out Primal Outdoors, Jimmy Ellis, Sinistar Tree, um, Steve Rossberg, and all those guys and a few others. I'll have a list in my description. You can check them out. They're all here on YouTube. We all talk about archery and we do archery and all that kind of stuff. And they're the ones that we kind of, you know, are doing head to head with. Um, I did three. I was challenged by Primal from Primal Outdoors. And so I went to my app, hit, hit accept for the challenge. And I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit uh, on the phone app and, how, and you know how things go. Um, Oh, yeah, and I was shooting, he's using the Spot Hog Whippersnapper for my release tonight, this bow, and I was using uh, PSE Carbon Force XLS Hunter 2300s uh, with 100, 100 grain, 100, yeah, 100 grain tips and 3 inch flex fletch uh, uh, veins that were 1.5 inches from the knock. Basically, you shoot five, 5 ends of 3 arrows. This is the part of the app I don't like. It, it'll give you distances in meters and distances in yardage and either 40 centimeter or 80 centimeter or 122 centimeter and indoor or outdoor. Uh, you shoot only three arrows and you shoot five ends for one round plus one arrow for a um, tiebreaker in case you need to go into a shoot off because you guys tie. Today, uh, my first match was against Primal from Primal Outdoors. Um, I did okay. I'm not going to see the score yet because he's still got to shoot. You can also require you can also require that the uh, compete competitors to it's only two one on one uh, take pictures or photo of each end uh, target. Uh, you don't have to, but you can. Um, just because lately the app's been a little buggy with the with taking pictures and sending them through the app, we just haven't been doing it. Where uh, Jimmy Ellis is out in Australia, uh, Sinister Archery is out in Australia, um, and so the second one I competed against Jimmy Ellis, and it was 20 yards or 18 meters, 20 yards, 40 centimeter. Well, there's not a 40 centimeter. There's only an 80 centimeter target face, and so against that did better maybe it's because uh, Jimmy's up there in the top end of you know Australia archery wise as it goes 
or something. I don't know what it was, but all of a sudden, I'll start to do better. And I chili dipped a couple. You know, I, saw, I did better than the first one. Then uh, one of the guys, one of the pro shop guys there at high tech, a uh, friend of mine, he's like, oh, you're doing that head to head thing. Yeah, it's like, okay. So I kind of showed him, and while showing him, I kind of hit a primal again. So I shot a second one against primal, primal outdoors. And, but before I shot that, uh, after I set up the match, before I shot it, we had taken, I had taken a break. I was getting, you know, I was you know, getting a little, that's when we went to the pro shop and we got the 10 degree down it, uh, down quick disconnect. We got the new Croson back bar and I spent about 10 minutes putting it all together. Oh boy, let me tell you, I love this 10 degree down. What a difference it makes. And just wow. Uh, wow is all I gotta say because I shot twice as good, three times as, be as good or better, three times better than what I was shooting before and what I've been shooting in the past. Uh, and I think it all has to do because the bow and my sight's settling down a lot faster. Dang, you know, it's settling down faster and it's staying more stable uh, with because it's got the degree, you know, down, down bow or down angle. Um, I saw 29s, 28s, 27s. I rarely will shoot a 29. Rarely. On occasion, a 28. A lot of 27s and down. But rarely do I shoot 29s, and I shot a few of them. I even hit several X's uh, on, on these. So, if you don't have one, I suggest get one. Get, the, it was only 15 bucks uh, at, at, at the shop I go to at high tech. Uh, it's, it was the Fivix 10 degree disconnect. Quick disconnect. Get it. Get that front bar. It gets the bar out of the way too. You're not. I wasn't focusing on the tip of the bar either. I couldn't really. I I could see it, but it wasn't prevalent. It was out of almost out of my sight, uh, out of, or out of my view. So it was kind of non-existent in my head. Um, helped me settle down a little bit more too. Helped me relax. Um, everything's starting to go into place. I'm not rushing. I'm settling. Getting anchored in. And release it. Um, I punched it a couple times tonight for whatever reason. This is set very, very hot. Not very, very hot, but hot. I mean, I I put a little bit of pressure on it and it pops. For whatever reason, tonight. My thumb slipped off of it, and I caught myself jerking. And it wasn't a forward jerk either. It was my finger slipped off, and I pulled back, or pulled through. Which, at that point, it the very tip kind of caught, or something happened where my thumb got back on it, and I'm like, Pruh! And so that shot literally went from here to three feet right and two feet up into another target. And I'm like, man, that was a first. It was funny, it was spooky, it was embarrassing, but it was funny. And I don't know, I don't know why it happened. Um, and then it happened the second time. But I caught it. I, I, it's like, sitting there, I get into my back tension pool. Yes, I do a back tension pool even with the thumb release. And I'll sit there and as I go into back tension, girls. I'm sitting there, 
and the finger goes, thumb goes off. And, I, and so my boy goes, again. I jerk. Couple, the guy next to me laughs. He goes, did it again, huh? And that bottom, like, oh. caught it, brought it down, went down, reset, regroup, went back in and drop up. I'm like, why? Who knows? Who knows why it happened, but it did twice. Like I said, embarrassing, funny, and all that. But, so, get on head to head, the head to head app, archery app. Get on Discord. We always talk on Discord. Uh, I'll have all that down in the, in the, down below. And be sure to hit all the buttons, almost all the buttons. Not, not that one right there, you know, it's the thumbs down. Don't hit that one. Well, unless it's really something you really didn't like. But hit the thumbs up. That, I like that. Thank you for doing that. Hit the share button because, you know, share it to all your friends because I might have something in my video list that they might like to watch. Hit the bell because that notifies you anytime I post a live feed, post a new video, and all that. And hit the subscribe button because, hey, I can always use more subscribers. You never know. I might do something really funny, really cool, and you'll have missed it because you weren't subscribed to my channel and getting notifications. But that's cool. Anyhow, so before we go, I'm going to show you the app really quick. Let me move this out of the way. Head to Head World Archery app. It's from World Archery. Look, this is for the Android. What we're going to do, and I'll show you really quick. I'm going to go over here to the triple bar. It'll bring you a drop down menu. You want to go to start a new match. And as you'll see, you know, choose your punch, um, outdoor, indoor, that kind of thing. You have your profiles and it says Old Blue. That's the name of my bow, Old Blue. Name of my bow, Old Blue. You can choose a historical match. You can find an opponent, find a friend, or you can choose a random opponent. Uh, where you just, you're on your profile, you're allowed to put a setting for available for random challenges. Or you can invite a friend. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find an opponent and we're gonna search by nickname and we're gonna, we're gonna use Primal. Okay, you put in there nickname, hit go, it'll search. There it is right there, Primal. Oh, he's in Pittsburgh, okay. Come up like that. It's an outdoor type. Now you can choose whether you require pictures for each end or not. It's just a matter of tapping it. Blue means yes. Gray means no. And then you pick your match round. And then you select the round you want to do. This, like I said, it's this is the only down part. So you got meters from 70 to 20 for 122 centimeter, 80 centimeter, and then you have yardage from 100 all the way to 20 or 122 centimeter, 50 yards, 40 yards, 30 yards, 20 yards for 80 centimeter. So we're going to go down here at 20. It'll Put it up in here where it says 20 yard, 80 centimeter. And then you can put a message to opponent. This is where you can go, okay, being your pro, I'm just kind of starting new. Uh, let's see, we'll say, as an example, uh, handicap will be for me, the amateur, the uh, beginning amateur, uh, anything in the yellow would be considered a 10. Anything outside the yellow would be considered face value of the points. For the pro, it's just standard. Or if they don't have the standard yellow, yellow, red, blue target, then it could be like, okay, well, I'll use a NFAA indoor blue target with the 543. And anything in the white will be 10, anything in the actual, you know, will be X. Now that you've done all that and you got that all done, you put your message in there, you, go, you scroll up and you come down here and it says, do you want to send this challenge? You hit yes, or you hit no. Now it's sending a challenge. As you can see, I've already got some pending. Um, Jimmy Ellis and Primal, these were four hours or five hours ago. These are the ones I've already scored. Now, um, just in your Primal, this is just a test thing, so don't worry about 
you know, just you can go ahead and score it or whatever or not. You go in, you click on it, and it says this match your challenger has not yet or has has not been accepted yet. You hit OK and you can sit here and say, Do you want to you sit here now and you can say, Do you want to begin the scoring? You hit yes or no. So you can hit yes. Okay. Now you got your first end. That's primal scores, which if he's already scored, his scores would be blank like this until you put in your score. But because he hasn't scored yet, you won't see him on this. So you shoot your end and you get a 10, a 10, and an 8. It's that easy. Oops, wait a minute. No, you didn't get an 8. You got a 9. Okay. So if you need to readjust anything, it's very simple. You go right down here to change arrow values. Click on it. You got a 9, not an 8. You click on that. Well, first what you do here, like say you got two 9s and a 10, not two 10s and a 9. So you got the 9, you change that, but you need to change one of the, one of the 10s. So you just, you hit on your touch screen, whatever one you need to change, whatever arrow will change that one to a 9, and there you go. Now, this is where you can take a picture, and, you know, it gives you a little instructions here. Then you hit next end. Tap on that, it locks the first end in. Your score is now up here. If Primal had already shot his, his score would show up right here. And then so on and so forth. So, you know, I'll just go next, next, get through these. And you shoot a couple X's and eight whoops. And okay, and then 10, 10, 10. Now, you, this last one, after the five, fifth end, of shooting three arrows each, you have a shoot-off end. It's a single arrow, and so you shoot a nine. So that gets put in there, and you do it. Now you got your grand total. It says uh, you have scored all of the ends. Your opponent has to score their arrows before the match outcome can be decided. You hit OK. There you go. It gives you the overview of everything here. You can click on any one of these ends. It'll come up. If you have a picture of it, it'll show your uh, opponent's arrows. It'll show your arrows and a picture with it. And as you see on that first one, it's 10 9, 9. It says me. You can go back this way. This is the opponent. It'd have a picture and the arrows that he, he or she shot. To get out of that, you click the X. There you go. To end it. It's already been ended. All you have to do is go over here, click on home. It takes you to the beginning again. Now, if you want to see something that you've already been through, you click on the little watch that says pending. And you can see I have three pending. And if you want to see what you got currently going on, there's the one from earlier today, which I've already scored. Prime will be scoring soon. You click on it. He hasn't scored yet. He's going to do it tomorrow or the next day. This right here, the three dots on this side is, you know, your refresh. You have share it onto Facebook, share it on Instagram, share it to another place. So, if you want to share it somewhere else, you click on that little thingy, social media thing, whatever, crops. Or share it to Facebook. You just click on them. So, but there you go. You get out of that, you just go to home. Oh, that feels good. Oh, the bones hurt. Oh. So, there you go. That was the head-to-head -head archery app from World Archery. Hopefully it gives you a little insight for those of you who just downloaded it and didn't really know how to operate anything on it and didn't want to touch it because you didn't want to start something you didn't couldn't shoot yet. Don't worry about it. You can challenge it any time. It's it just matter. you got to, you know, eventually score and all that kind of stuff, but and then you just got to check every now and then. Unless you know the people, then you can just say, hey, guess what? Get them up on, you know, hit them up on Discord, and, you know, and talk to them there and say, yeah, I challenge you, so go ahead and, you know, if you missed it. But, anyhow, so as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this was informative. I hope you had a little fun. I know it was a little long. It might be a little bit short. Who knows? I'll edit, really. Um, shows you the new toys. Talked about the head-to-head. -head. Be sure to check out Jimmy Ellis. Sinistar Tree, Primal Outdoors, uh, Steve Rosberg, my channel, all that. 
check them all out. I'll have all their links in the description below. We're good. It's a big old happy family, I'm telling you. We love it. Um, they talk about archery and some other things. Uh, my channel, uh, for those of you who don't know, I don't do only archery. I do some stuff in the outdoors as well. Camping, fishing, that kind of thing. I also, uh, my main thing is my weight loss journey. And for those of you who don't know, who are just joining us for the very first time, think clicking once again on beast capacity. Um, this here is a 4X, 4X shirt. I mean, it's not too tight, it's not too loose. Doesn't sit on me like a tent like the 6XLs does, uh, which is well, my main clothes. Uh, I've, uh, this last year, I've lost 47 pounds. I've lost 47 pounds this year since uh, the month of April, and I'm feeling great. I have a goal of 444 pounds. I'm at 477 pounds at now, at this moment, at the end of the 2017-2018 year. Now going into 2018, 2018 2019, I have a goal of weighing 400 pounds, maybe 399. Maybe break that 400, you know, get into the threes. But I'm not 477, I have 33 more pounds to go for my goal of being 444 pounds on my 44th birthday, which is April 8th. Only less, uh, about three months and a couple of days away. So I know I can do it, I can do it. I'm on Weight Watchers, though you don't know who are wondering what I'm doing to lose this weight. Um, if you go back to some of my older videos and one of my very first videos, you'll see poochy cheeks and I'm looking big. You can see my before and afters there by just watching the videos. Um, so, as always, don't mean to be rambling on and on and on, but when it's not unscripted and it's not live, and you got to kind of flow with something. You do a lot of stuff extra and you go about forever, but then you edit it out. So, hit all the buttons. Like, thumbs up, comment, I always need it. Subscribe, that's that little red thing. It'll turn white after you subscribe. Hit the bell because that'll notify you. And there you have it. And share. Hit the share button as well. Share it all your friends. You like something you like? If you see something in any of my videos, or you don't, I should say, if you don't see something in my videos that you would like to see, leave a comment. Send me an email. My email's down in the description. Just please remember to put Team Beast in the subject line. I do, you know, I do weed up messages and stuff. And, uh, in my emails because I don't like viruses. So please be sure to put Team Beast in the subject line and drop me a line. Drop me a note. Say, hey, anything. Because, you know, this is what this community is all about. Getting people out. Um, entertainment. Sharing my life with you guys. But anyhow, I've rambled on enough. Went off a little sidetracked. Gone on a little long like I normally do. Because I like hearing myself speak. Not just kidding. Anyhow, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Check out all my buddies. Check them all out. Go to their channels. Subscribe, like, comment on their stuff. Share their stuff. Share my stuff. Share with all your friends. Get the word out there. And as always, be good. Be kind. Team Beast. All the way.